It's not something that you just dump something on. It's not like a truck. It's it, a series of tubes. The internet is so complicated. In the battle for the future of music, two heavyweights represent the extremes in tackling the thorny issue of copyright infringement. In one corner, electronic music legend Moby. Last year, Moby partnered with the file sharing company BitTorrent to distribute audio and related content from his album Innocence for free. Downloading only required an email address, and fans were encouraged to create and upload their own remixes. He's also been releasing the raw files with a service called Blend to make it easier for musicians to produce and even sell their creations. But even Moby admits this community remixing drives record label executives crazy. And in the other corner, Prince. Notoriously protective of his intellectual property, the 80s pop icon announced a new lawsuit this week, this time against fans, two of whom operate fan pages on Facebook who he claimed posted or linked to unauthorized concert videos. The suit worked out to a million bucks per defendant, which not too surprisingly scared the fans enough that they quickly pulled any offending material and Prince dropped the lawsuit. Look, the reality is that once it's released or even just performed live, music cannot be contained anymore. Consumers are gonna get a hold of it legally or otherwise. That shouldn't mean that artists have to give away their hard work, but it could mean it's time to change the rules of engagement with fans. Hopefully somewhere between Moby and Prince lies a solution that works for everyone. That's it for this week's brief. Until next week, keep your content fresh.